There's been so many new fast food items that have hit the shelves, hit the menus, hit the streets, and I have yet to try so many new things because I've been busy renovating a house. I don't know if you've subscribed to this channel or not. You should. And I haven't had much time. But now is the time to venture out into these LA streets to try some of these new fast food menu items, I think. I got into my car this morning and it looks like I might have a flat tire. So I filled it up with air. Hopefully that will last us at least to the end of this video. If not, I can see the title now. Stranded while eating fast food menu items. The only way to start this video is to start at Starbucks. We should call it Starbucks because I need caffeine, especially if I'm gonna have to deal with a tow truck later. So the new Starbucks drink is an olive oil coffee drink, which sounds freaking disgusting. But you never know until you try it. That's the whole vibe of this channel. I've heard it actually hurts people's stomachs. So even if I like it, I'm probably not gonna drink too much because I'm on the cusp of like ibs -y. I'm not really an IBS gal. Anyway, I'm not gonna tell you about all my medical woes. <laughs> The pterodactyl's out and I haven't even had a sip of anything yet. Can I try the Oleato ice shaken espresso? I had to order a matcha latte just in case the Oleatos are not that good. All right, the time is nigh. It's time to try the Oleato shaken espresso. I should have gotten a straw. I don't typically do that, but I feel like it might have settled just a smidge. Oh, wow. That's actually good. I'm surprised. Like, it's actually really good. It almost has like a brown sugar holiday something to it. It is thicker. In terms of flavor, I'm here for this. Gosh, it does taste a little bit like, I don't know, like a creamer from the grocery store. It's a very familiar aftertaste, but I mean, I wouldn't saute my vegetables in it, so that's a good sign. Also, did you guys notice that Starbucks is like selling olive oil now? Way to diversify during a recession. I mean, you gotta get creative these days, you know? Next, let's try the Oleato Golden. Let's go. Oh, my stomach's hurting already. I don't know if I just made that up though. I think I've just manifested that for myself. Let's try it. And it's like olive oil. Oh, I don't like that. I don't think we needed this. I mean, you could invent it, right? Like it's one of those things that it's possible. Do we want it? But I am gonna have a sip of this freaking delicious matcha latte because Starbucks has the best matcha latte. So IRS, see, I, I drank in a video. I can write it off of my taxes. Delicious. I don't need these other two. I just need this. So now we are at McDonald's, which was the birthplace of all of my fast food cravings in life. So I'm here to try specifically the new Grimace shake that has been taking over TikTok. And there are a couple of other things I hope are still in the menu that I can try too. Can I get the Grimace shake? We don't have the Grimace shake no more. Oh, you don't? Okay, thank you. You. Friends, I have good news and I have bad news. Maybe the bad news is that this camera is way off. Hold on, let me put a maxi pad underneath <laughs> to support it. Works perfectly. The Grimace shake no longer being served. I, I think I might have missed it by like a day. It's good news because I was not looking forward to it because I've heard some nasty things about it. The good news, did I say the bad news? I don't know, I think that was good news. The extra good news is that the Oreo cookies and cream pie is still on the menu. And as much as I'd love to jump into the jalapeno cheeseburger, which is next, I feel like dessert is first. Oh my gosh, this smells like an easy bake oven. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I mean, Oreos are kind of known to be like a salty, savory, sweet cookie. I'm gonna try one more bite. This is weird for me to say. This tastes like a nice balanced dessert. There's like a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it really tastes savory, which is kind of, I think, what you look for in pies generally. I feel like the little celebration pie that they had here, or the birthday cake pie, was so sweet. This barely feels like dessert. I'm shocked at how much I liked it like this. The smell is not right, but don't judge it by its smell. Judge it by its taste. I'm saving her for later. We're never telling Matt that you existed until he watches this video and then he gets mad at me speak to me for days because I withheld the good treats. Before I left today, Matt was like, if there is something good, can you please bring it home and share with me? <laughs> you seen me hide treats. I'm not gonna lie, this burger might be the most perfect burger to ever exist. I don't like a lot of vegetables on my burger. Surprise, surprise, if you've been subscribed here for long enough, that's not surprising to you. I just like cheese and ketchup, but with bacon and, I was gonna say pickles, but these are jalapenos here, and they're neighbors, not friends. I do love jalapenos stuff. Let's just, oh, mm, there's a nice, delicious, melty, cheesy bite right there. Food port if I've ever seen it. I don't usually allow myself to take two bites when I'm doing fast food videos, especially because not only do I get so full, but the combination of all the different foods hurts my stomach, but I really want to eat you one more time. <laughs> I feel like this is 
gonna be censored. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more bite. Heaven on earth. Why is that so good? It's just so pure. I feel like that has to be my go-to McDonald's order. What's so sad is they're gonna take it off the menu before I can even have it again. You know, it's like a big throat hug. A nice, warm, cheesy throat hug. What else can you want from your snack? Friends, I'm about to do something I've never done on this channel before. At least I don't think. And that is eat Burger King. I don't frequent Burger King. It just doesn't resonate with my food spirit. It is overdue. And they have spicy nuggets. Spicy chicken nuggets. Ooh, they smell like buffalo saucy. Is this the worst angle of all time? Yes. Do I care? No. Let's dip her in. I wouldn't say, the, oh, there it is. There it is, the spice. I started out thinking, oh, that's nothing. Oh, I'm gonna have one more bite. That's kind of delicious. These are what's up. Also, I had to have a Burger King fry, not because I wanted a Burger King fry, but it is National Friday. It is also Friday. Mmm, I get it. Burger King also came out with a royal sandwich, chicken sandwich, and one of you on my community tab here on YouTube told me I had to try it because it's new, and it is a spicy royal chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh, this smells just like Burger King. You can get this not spicy as well, but I figured might as well keep the esophageal burn going. I don't know what it is about the smell of Burger King, but it is so signature. I can already tell you what this tastes like just by smelling it. Burger King does do mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato on all of their burgers. Might be a little too healthy for me, even with the mayonnaise. But I used to tear up a Burger King chicken sandwich. You know, the schlongy ones, the ones that look kind of like a Subway sandwich. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Okay, that's really good. It is for sure spicy. Not terribly spicy, like I can't handle it, but there's a nice kick in there. It's a nice crunch. The bun is nice and buttery. It still smells like Burger King, but it tastes like something unique. It doesn't taste like what I was anticipating it to taste like. I would give this, as far as a spicy chicken sandwich, like an eight out of 10. That's shocking. I thought this would be like a solid five and a half. So good. Maybe it's because my expectations were so, so low, but maybe it's just that I shouldn't be knocking Burger King and I should be trying it more often. Do you guys want to see me do an eating all the Burger King menu items video. Maybe there's a whole world like Narnia that I've never explored before. I'm not gonna have one more, I'm not gonna have another bite. I still have more to go. It's not you, it's me. Now I made a special trip to my local Taco Bell. They have a new volcano menu and I'm literally wearing Taco Bell today so I couldn't deny, I couldn't deny them the opportunity to be featured as one of the new items in this list. Oh, Matt's coming. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. yeah. Have any any lunch leftovers? No. No, it was good. None of it was good. Mm -mm. So it's all gone. Oh. Benji's a hip for two. <laughs> I'm snipping. <laughs> Y'all are some hungry boys. What are, you, what are you in the mood for? I've got dessert. These spicy nuggets from Burger King are really good. There's a lot of flavor. It's pretty good. It's got a nice crunch, huh? It's pretty good. This is turning into an ad for Burger King, I feel. I'm st I still have more to go. Oh, you're still filming. Yeah, I just drove home because I have to pee. And I don't trust the world's bathrooms. So Taco Bell has a new volcano menu, which lots of spicy options. Is it bad that I did not get sauce? I don't usually get sauce at Taco Bell. I usually just like the flavor of it so much. I don't even need sauce. I feel like that is sacrilegious, but that's why God made me sacrilegiously. <laughs> Let's try it. Immediately, yes. 100% plus 10. 110. That is incredible. And I must wash it down with their new strawberry watermelon lemonade strawberry freeze. Ooh, it's tart. I expected it to be sweet in my mind. The lemonade is heavy. It's, there's a, a very heavy essence of lemonade and not as much watermelon. There's watermelon in the scent. It's good if you like drinking like this. It kind of tastes like a sour apple or a sour patch kid. Here she is, our lady in waiting. Oh, that's unique. I really like it. So they're the, the crunchy shells inside with rice and cheese and sauce. I'm gonna have another bite. Matt probably wants this. Mm. I have to go give him this. I'd be a bad wife if I didn't share. Hey, you may wanna try this. Y'all, I'm sufficiently and efficiently full of a multitude of items. There were some, I feel like everything I liked, pretty much. You have to subscribe and watch the video to get the full rundown. So if you haven't, you should also subscribe, thumbs up this video, and comment down below if you've tried any of these new menu items. Which of them are your favorites?